Hey all viewers, tonight I'm going to talk about a very strange response that I had on the TFG community page. Their little forums, their forum I mean, um, forum singular, so to speak. Now, I would simply like to say that this forum, ever since it has been created, um, has basically been, it has basically been, um, there has not been much activity. And for the most part, the forum has been, for a while now, the forum has basically been dead. And, um, that is basically the truth. Basically, no one comes to the forum. Um, many of us have been waiting because Naftali says the web developer is going to he is going to add more features which is a good thing because to be honest this really does need a good deal more features now he asks for forum ideas I happen to participate in this particular th thread um, and I other people okay um, so basically only me and Pyro have given suggestions. Only two people have given suggestions, basically. Um, which, truth be told, that is not a good... That is not a good um, indication of that forum's... The forum's health, but he says he's... Neftali says he's going to promote this when it gets more features. But anyhow, only me and Pyro gave some, some particular points. Now, he says post likes. So apparently this was on the True Family website, so he wants that feature back. I don't know what happened to the other website, but this is what we have now, and I'm appreciative of it, but I had suggested, I said the word sh count should be suspended. Now, those of you who know this channel, um, you know that I use a wide variety of words in diction, obviously. Um... So, I do enjoy forums. I really do. And so, word count, as far as I'm concerned, is the most important thing. Truth be told, that said, I think that this should be a forum in a more traditional sense. I do not exactly know what Naftali's vision is for, for this particular community section. But personally, I think the best type of features would just simply be normal forum features, what you would expect from a forum. That is my opinion. Um, I think um, I am not per particularly sure if he wants to do this, um, wants to present this as a sort of traditional type of forum, the type of forum where you can just write long, just a good deal of information. That is the best because that allows for, for more complex discussions. To be entirely honest, now, Neftali talks about a variety of subjects and a variety of different things. Um, and frankly, in order to have really interesting conversations, I honestly think that a person should be able to be able to write and rather type a good deal more, to be honest. Now, as I have said, there has not very well, very, there has not been very much activity on this forum. Now, I have experience with forums. I have been using a variety of forums throughout my life. And so, for me, it is always a very special time when when a forum sort of begins, the birth of a forum. Um, because I've been treating this as though it were a forum, basically. So, in other words, for me, I already know that in regard to forums, it is very important to have a good start to sort of establish a community. Now, right when the forum begins, who you have coming and who you have and who is not coming is very important that you have a good deal of people come um, early on and you sort of begin with a community um, of people. In, in my opinion, because 
And that is just simply based on what I've seen. I've seen forums die. I've seen forums become basically useless husks. You know, and it can happen for all types of reasons. It can happen for weird demands of exclusivity where people feel as though, well, we should only have certain types of people come around. There have been forums that have died for that reason, too. And in some cases, there are forums where, to be entirely honest, the forum dies because there's not enough people. You also have forums that basically also die because there are some people who really want to to restrict discussion. And they feel as though, okay, we can only discuss certain things. And there's, there are particular communities that do that. And who knows what whatever type of subject the forum has. There are particular forums like that. And you have overzealous moderators and administrators who are really... Who, if they don't outright ban you, they will try to intimidate you or even try to sort of act rudely in very weird ways. Um... Those who are involved in the male health community may remember or may know about Mike Salvini when he decided to promote his exercise for male health, the DLD blend, bins, and people thought that exercise was, okay, that, that's completely different subject. I'm, I am almost certain no one knows what I'm talking about. But anyhow, this forum basically has, how should I say, the former problem, where basically this forum is... You know, who knows if if it will get more features. But this is not really a good experience for people who are not particularly, how should I say, um, how should I say this? For people who are not, who don't have the patience to stick around, this is kind of annoying when they see that basically the forum has not been promoted and there are not many people around. So what often happens when you have a slow start to a forum is this. You have people come. They're excited to be a part of the forum. But they realize not much is happening in the forum. Or they're just not willing to engage. Or else they they figure that... Or else they sort of have an understanding that the features of the forum are lacking. And therefore, they are not particularly excited to engage with the forum. So... Um, for whatever reason, we've, we have had some people come around and just never come around again. Basically, the only two people who are posting in this forum is me and Armor Bearer. Now, Armor Bearer has posted some, some verses and so forth. Very interesting. Um, we had Pyro, but I have not seen Pyro around. He has only given one post, so... I do wonder about the longevity of, the, of this forum, especially, and some people may not think, oh, well, people who come early on, they don't ne- necessarily need to stick around because we'll just promote the forum to the point where people will just be coming in droves. And, you know, but what about those people who, who came to the forum? They had a bad experience because the forum was basically dead. People do not realize what a very unsettling experience it is. To have a forum that is very slow, especially in the beginning, you need certain people to keep coming to the forum, to keep coming to the community page. Okay, now those people who keep coming to the community page may not necessarily be people who you agree with or get along with, but nonetheless, those people are important because they're the ones posting in your community section or your forum or whatnot. Now, I mean... I know we're Christians, I know we are the church, I know we're the body of Christ. However, I have to speak realistically, I have to speak pragmatically. Because it is a very, it is very obvious to me that this forum is not, there is not much activity. And there have been people who have come, there have been people who have posted. I have not had the opportunity to to speak to many people. Now, Armor Bearer has said some things. Um, And I believe uh, another, other Another, some woman had basically said some things. She also went to my YouTube channel and watched the video that I'd made. Um, This was the one about the strange photo on Jenny Weaver's website in which she has a, you know, and you can look at the the image more closely, um, in which you can obviously see 
this pupil is slit. This was a post I put here. Now, I got some attention from a, from a woman, Angela, Angelise. Now, Angelise45, whatever her name is, she also has a YouTube account, and she went on my YouTube channel, and she commented on the video, and she was quite surprised to see that eye. Now, this is what happens when Christians decide to speak and share things with one another. This is community. This is how it should be. When we as Christians speak to one another, it shouldn't be stilted or rigid or like we're, we're so stiff that we can't really have any type of liberality and really just decide to talk about things that we see and experience. So, you know, Angelise also commented on my YouTube channel, which was very interesting. I was quite happy about that. Um, and I will show you that comment right now to basically show how some of this, some of the socializing does occur, you know, from, from forum to YouTube channel or whatnot, and how beneficial that can be. Um, how, this is how a forum should be used. Now, of course, Neftali also came to my channel and, you know, from the forum, and he saw that I had promoted his, his forum. And I was very happy to do so. I do hope it succeeds. Now, um, Angelise, 35, okay? Angelise came from the forum um, and basically watched the YouTube video. And look what I did with the YouTube video. The YouTube video is posted right here in the, in the forum, in the, in the comments section, you know? I made a thread. So obviously she went to the YouTube video and saw the video. Now, I have seen Angelise before on YouTube. She is a particular um, supporter of Jenny Weaver. And she did not know this. And she was quite surprised. And she said it. Um, she said no less than the YouTube um, video that I did about Jenny Weaver. Um, now, I did have to make a correction in that video about... Um, Jenny Weaver, because I was not aware that she was a pastoress in Orlando. Um, she had said that she was a housewife on her, on, I don't know where I read that she was a housewife, but apparently she's a pastoress as well, and I had to do that correction in that video. But nonetheless, every other point that I made in the video was correct, and some people are quite, some people get quite hung up on this idea of, oh, if you're going to talk about someone, do not make any mistakes. However, this is not some type of way to degrade a person. This is a review, a critique of public figures. So, you know, people appreciate it when you do it. People appreciate when you, when you take the time to research about, about people and organizations. And truth be told, Christians are held by no other, by, Christians are not held to any any sort of different standard. If I talk about someone else, I, you know, and they're in public, it is no different from me talking about a Christian who is in public. Um, to be entirely honest. So basically this video is me talking about the state of the forum right now because I feel I might as well do this because apparently I've received an interesting response to a topic that I decided to, to post on the forum. But anyhow, before I get to that matter, um, I'm going to read what Angelise 35 says. She says, wow, I am really blown away. Only took notice of her one eye covered, but didn't see the eyeball until you said to study the picture because or rather, I've grown to really like Jenny and always see her love of God on her. But this leaves room for questions. And you see, this is the power of, of using forums and discussion boards. This is the power of it. It can be very useful. I am not joking, and I did not joke, and I did mean what I said in that video where I promoted the community section, and the TFG ministries, because I know the power of when Christians 
and really any group of people. When they come together and talk, it can be a very powerful thing. However, if people do not want to talk, then there is not much power in it. There, there is a possibility for a forum to literally die. A lot of people do not understand that phenomenon and they have never seen it happen. I have. I have seen forums die. I have seen forums basically become ghost towns. Okay? No, no doubt. No joke. I have seen forums become ghost towns. Um, and I've also seen forums become places where you cannot really express yourself. I've also seen that. I've seen both situations. So, I'm talking about the state of the forum. This, this woman saw this woman's eye. Now, to some, hey, I shouldn't be talking about Jenny Weaver. I shouldn't be talking about anyone else. Some people may say that. Well, due to me talking about Jenny Weaver, this woman recognized something strange on Jenny Weaver's website. And if any of you are interested in that, you can go to re- review of Jenny Weaver's shop and courses and etc. on my channel, The Wayward Ascetic. It is just Wayward Ascetic, two words. Okay, this is the power of what happens. And it's very... This was probably the most useful and beneficial interaction I had on this this particular community page for now. Okay, this woman, she benefited from it quite good. Okay, so basically I say to her, I relate a story to her. My mother saw a person in the church, and this church and the people in this church, let me be honest... Some people may not like the criticism. The criticism is going to come because the criticism is genuine. These people in this church were not moral people. They were not virtuous people in the sense that most of what they did had to do with getting money from the congregation. And so my mother, this was a funeral. We often did not really attend this church, but my mother went to to a particular forum. No, I mean to a particular funeral. Oh my goodness, please forgive my fumbling over words. We're talking about forums. I sort of said forum instead of funeral. Anyhow, she went to a forum funeral for her mother, actually. Um, And what happened was this. She went to that funeral for her mother. And the interesting thing was is that she saw this preacher in the church. And she told me the story. I didn't see it myself, but my mother saw a preacher in that church and his eyes glowed like a wolf. I believe she said they flashed like they were just silver or something such as that. Like they looked like a wolf to her. These eyes glowed. And she told me that story. And when my mother says something, to be honest, I take it, I, I take it seriously because she does not lie. My mother does not lie, is not lied to me, so I take that story very seriously. These are the type of discussions that that we as Christians can have when we come together. To be honest, this is the power a forum can have. And it is a benefit to the people that use it. A forum is an excellent resource. So, you see, she she would not have known about this if, if she did not come to this forum and see this. Okay, and, you know, it is just as I say, a lot of us, you know, Neftali says he hasn't promoted it yet. I think he will. And, you know, I will wait until then, because that seems to be what everyone is doing, I suppose. But still, the amount of people coming is just so minuscule. Hopefully, things will become better when he promotes it. But anyhow... I suppose I will talk about some different things. Now, let me go to my earliest post because I'm going to talk some about the posts that I have made, to be honest. Um, Now, obviously, I have talked about some different quotes from books. I have, um, you know, I've had posts about Quaker pacifism. Now, some people may say, well, why would we want to know about Quaker pacifism? pacifism. We don't agree with Quakers. You know, we're regular normal Protestants or whatnot. Maybe some people may not appreciate this, but this is part of history. Now, people can speak badly or 
about the Quakers and other people who they don't like in the Christian community. However, I am simply going to say this. The Quakers were one of the few Christian denominations that actually stood against slavery. Very few Christians stood against slavery. The Quakers did. So we can say, oh, Quakers are... Quakers are not like other Christians. They're, you know, they're liberal. They have liberal. Listen, people are individuals. Um, and this is why a forum is good. We can learn different ideas. So I posted about Quaker pacifism. People do not realize that Quakers really do, you know, even today they express the idea of not going to war, not fighting, turning the other sheik, which, truth be told, a lot of Christians should learn about this because there are plenty of Christians saying they want to, you know, they want to defend themselves and basically resort to violence. Our Lord Jesus Christ didn't teach us that. Some people, they want to resort to worldly means and not spiritual means. Spiritual men do not need to resort to violence. Um, They do not. Jesus Christ did not do it. Jesus Christ said, put up the sword. Um, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish by the sword. The words of Jesus Christ and the Quakers took it to heart. And for those of us um, of the Afro-American community, we know the importance of nonviolence and that sort of sense of Christian pacifism based on what it achieved. So those were men and women who achieved a great deal through nonviolence and taking the words of Jesus Christ very seriously. So, you know, it was my pleasure to share that. You know, whether people agree with it or not. You know, anyone who can show me where Jesus was some type of individual who wanted to fight hey you know i will be waiting for that but anyhow i posted about that and i'm just going to go to the oldest ones first because i've posted a lot of different things here um i post about truth seeker this man says that kundalini is the holy spirit and i and basically in this post i i warn people about it i called that the topic i like to have fun with the topics the heat of the situations it is a the heat of the situations now i do believe neftali has talked about truth seekers associates um and neftali maybe he has talked about truth seeker however more more people should talk about him because he is making some big inroads in the christian community and let me say this truth seeker is using social media very effectively Okay, he is really putting himself out there and other Christians are going to need to do the same thing. Now, I'm trying myself with my small YouTube channel and basically getting in contact with everyone that I can. Um, This forum is a good idea. Hopefully, it will be used well. Now, these two people were pointed out, Jenny Weaver and Truth Seeker, because I do believe Christians should should learn more about what these people do, you know, how they teach, what type of money they are making from the Christian community. If they're profiting from the Christian community, we have every reason to talk about them. But anyhow, many of my posts, you know, I post Bible verses and and so forth, um, talk about my personal experiences with prayer and so, so on. Um, Here's a post about church mummification. Now, this had to do with the fact that some churches, they literally have money mummies in their churches. And that was very creepy. And it was a very interesting video I did. That's just a video of general discussion, to be honest. It's very interesting, you know, that you have these old Catholic churches and Eastern Orthodox churches in some cases that are literally willing to keep mummies in their church and make their churches into spectacles. And they're not really places of worship. They're just places to keep very old things. But that's a whole nother matter. It's to me it's a it's depravity involved. And I kind of feel that maybe some of the mummification could be intentional. I do not know. It is very strange to me. Now I could talk about some of the other posts, but I mainly did this video 
to talk about a particular topic that I decided to raise called the fallacy of political Christianity. Now, I was doing a critique about Ravinder and about how she went to an anti-Trump protest and she decided to do a counter-protest with some other people, it would seem. What Ravinder decided to do was to, in all honesty, carry a, a poster that said that Trump was fulfilling prophecy. You can come to my YouTube channel and watch the video yourself if you want to. Um, and I talk about these so-called p- political Christians who feel that some of these politicians are in some way good for the Christian community, f- good for the body of Christ, that they're, that they're actual Christians, even though they do not heed the words of Christ. And many of these people are responsible for so many deaths and s- so much suffering. Why should Christians care about worldly things, such as politics? Should not their focus be upon their worship of God, contemplation and meditation upon their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who, who, is, who was, when he was in this world, when he was on earth, he was not involved in politics. Some people do not want to hear that. And the, the video is very, is very simple. It's very honest. Now, let me say something else about the video. The video has not even received very much view time. So that's 0.1, which is about four minutes, I do believe, or about five minutes or so. Yet, I did post this. So I said, this is a podcast about political Christians and why the faith must be abstracted from the leaven of worldly politics. Our nation is heaven. Abstracted, for those who do not know what the word abstract means in this sense, it means to separate. In other words, I'm saying our faith as Christians should be separated from worldly politics because politics is of the world. Our nation is heaven, and I am basically stressing the, the fact that we as Christians should not forget our, our home is not here on this earth. It is heaven. Now, you may say, this is very simple. It's a, it is a very simple message. And I gave a very relevant verse that has full context with what I'm saying, which is John 17, 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Here, Jesus is saying he is not of the world, and he's saying, you know, the people that he, that he has taught, the people who are his followers, they are not of the world. And so the world hates them. The political people hate these people. These people who are involved in these worldly things and the pleasures of this life, they hate these people. Why? Because they are not of the world. Their focus is their connection and communication with their Lord in prayer. And they have a connection with God in contemplation upon God. That is what they are concerned with. It's the spiritual. Regardless of whatever they're doing in the world, they are in the world, but they are not of the world because their their greatest love is God. And so if your greatest love of, is God and you know this home, you're not going to be here for very long. Why would you be involved and invest yourself in the world? That is not their motivation. Their motivation is to go home. And their home is heaven. Our nation is heaven. They they do not need to be political. So this is very simple. How a person could misunderstand this, I do not know. But anyhow, I received a very interesting comment to this. And to be honest, the comment was so... I did not know what to make of it. I still do not know what to make of it. Because I'm thinking, I would expect agreement in the body of Christ, but people do not always agree. But the the content of this comment is very strange to me. So, this is Armor Bearer. Armor Bearer says, greetings, wayward ascetic. Remember, when you have a finger pointing at someone else, three are pointing back at you. All good. Okay. So, obviously... I can see that he has not watched the, the full video. If he has watched it at all. If he has watched any of that video. That video does not even have 20 minutes of view time. 
So, to be honest, this is an implication on his part. Now, he isn't, you know, he is implying that I'm finger pointing. He is implying that I'm pointing my finger at someone. I find that very odd. Now, I've been very clear about what I've been doing. I've been, in some ways, I've been warning other Christians about certain people who have Christian businesses who are making a profit from the Christian community. And basically, in these comments, I said no less. It is a critique of public figures. This isn't me involving myself with private individuals who do not place their... um, who do not place their Christian businesses online, who do not engage in public activities. This is a critique of people who are engaging in public activities. This is Neftali's website, and we all know that Neftali has done videos where he gives a critique of certain individuals in the Christian community as well as other individuals outside of the Christian community. So what is Armor Bearer trying to say? I do not know. And so I gave Armor Bearer two responses. Now, whether Armor Bearer is going to respond, I do not know, but I do feel it is pertinent for me to make this video and give clarification because this this comment, I do not know, I still do not understand it. And I think basically this is the sort of idea that I'm being somehow, in some sense, overzealous or just, you know, sort of. Uh, um, how should I say, out of, um, out of decorum, so to speak. To be honest, this has negative implications. You know, he is implying something. He is implying that I am pointing my fingers. And I, I simply say, how am I pointing my fingers? I am giving some criticism to certain public individuals who have a well-known presence on the internet. Okay, public individuals who have shops, public individuals who sell things, and I'm basically, you know, given my commentary on the whole situation. This woman went out, and she literally decided to, you know, and a lot of these Christians did. And when they were doing it, there was a real, there was, let me just say, it was crickets. We heard crickets. What do we hear in response to all these people saying, oh, the Trump prophecies? Oh, we're prophesizing. Yeah, Trump is fulfilling prophecy. If I was doing YouTube back then when they were doing it, if I had my channel back then when they were doing it, I would have made videos about it, talking about it as well. And I would have made the same forum post. If this forum was was, um, created back then, I would have still been talking about the same things. So, whatever he is implying, I do not see how it applies at all to me. He's saying three are pointing back at me. Maybe that's some saying or proverb that he came up with or he found or something. I do not understand it, to be honest. Okay, where are the three people pointing back at me? Is it him? But hey, it, it really does not matter. My point is, is that what I do to clarify... It's very simple. It is done for the benefit of my fellow Christians. A lot of what I give out are warnings of people who who are asking for money. This woman, at one point in time, received a good deal of donations from subscribers to her YouTube channel and other people. A lot of people have unsubscribed to her. Because they have recognized that she is not acting with the conduct that she used to promote. A lot of people did not know about... Okay, at least not Armor Bearer. It really seems as though he does not understand the situation. Or else he has something to say, but he is not saying it. And for me, I like conversations where the person is willing to really... If, if there's some type of of discussion to be had, I would like to have the discussion. But anyhow, you know, this woman, Truth Seeker, and Jenny Weaver, a lot of the people, all of the people I have talked about on my YouTube channel have been people who have made their careers off of Christians, who have made profit off of Christians, 
who have gotten a good deal of money from Christians. And I do not feel at all shamed about talking about them. And to be honest, um, I mean, I was very happy Neftali made a forum, and basically I'm just contributing to it. But if we're going to have a conversation, hopefully the, the, the conversations will be substantive. You cannot have a substantive conversation if people are afraid to, to have any type of discussion. Okay? Disagreements, agreements, anything. Someone has to begin the conversation for something to actually come of it. But anyhow, I'm going to post... I'm basically going to post this video on this forum. Because basically... It is important when you have a forum beginning that you have content in it. If, if people do not like my content, they're welcome to post more on the forum. The sad thing is, this forum is not, it does not have many people on it. Now, I expect Naftali is going to promote it. The web developer that he has is going to sort of add features and then things will look brighter. However, things are really kind of dead now and not many people are on the forum. But if I have discussions, hopefully those discussions will be more substantive than what I had kind of gotten involved in. Because this is not, I mean, this tells me very little. In other words, remember, if you're finger pointing, three people are finger pointing back. I do not understand. I would like some clarification to this. Now, I'm going to post this topic. Um, I'm going to post the I'm going to post about this on this forum. I'm going to basically um, post this video about the state of the forum, about, you know, that comment that Armor Bearer made. Because, to, to be honest, um, you know, if, if more Christians could just get over this idea of, oh, we, I can't talk. I can't really do, you know, I can't really engage with people on social media. What do we have social media for? There should be more Christians with YouTube channels who are willing to speak. You know, at the very least, we should hear one another's voices. Or if we're using forums, you know, there should be some activity in the forums. Um, hopefully things will look better. But frankly, for myself, it may seem weird that I'm doing a video about this. But... You know, I'm doing it because, to me, it makes plenty of sense. You know, it makes plenty of sense for me to do a video about this because um, we have to, I think, as Christians, other groups are talking to one another. Other groups are doing different things with one another. There's, there's people who are trying to really destroy the church. And we have Christians we as Christians, we have to talk more. We have to communicate more. This to me seems like a smart little thing to say about someone. This seems kind of, I don't know. This is too short. This isn't descriptive enough. We, I think as Christians, we have to get over this sort of icy shield that is upon us. It is almost as though we're just, defer- you know, he could say more than this. You know, he could say more than this. This is not... I want to know what he's, what what the idea behind this is. Because I did not understand it. To be honest, I am... I understand... I sort of understand some of his implication that he's trying to make. But I do not fully understand what exactly... You know, this, this idea of me finger pointing is about. It's not well explained. It's just one sentence. All good. You know, sure, all good, okay? However, you know, we're on the forum. Let's talk more. And that goes for everyone, to be honest. I mean, I have been around a long time. I've been using forums for so long on a variety of different forums. And my goodness, forums can be really good when you know how to use them. And I encourage people to do that. To have different discussions. Forums are also a test of patience because in forums... Your tolerance of other people is attested, is tested. If other communities are doing that that are not Christian, Christians can do it too. Christians can do it too. But we can't cannot really do that unless we're willing to talk to one another. We have to have those discussions. What is the use of having forums for Christians when Christians are not willing to 
to actually have substantive discussions. We have to say a good deal of a good deal to one another. Um, and that is sadly to see. I've seen a lot of Christian communities online. They're always way behind other communities because they're not. A lot of Christians are not willing to talk to one another. And the forum, the Christians' forums, are some of the worst because a lot of Christians they have all types of hang-ups about just talking to each other, just communicating with one another. Hopefully, this forum will get bigger. Hopefully, this will be a really big, vibrant thing for Neftali in his community, in his ministry, and this will help him get more people involved and interested in it. But I do not know. I mean, to be honest, that comment, I mean, I, I have said what I had to say about it, um, because it is not that does not seem to be made in good faith. That does not seem to be made in very... I mean, because I that is indirect. I want more. Okay, I'm finger pointing. Explain how I'm finger pointing. Explain, you know... Explain what your ideas are about that happen to be. You know, do you have any questions? I don't. I do not know what to make of that. Of that, to be honest. But anyhow, I'm going to talk about another post I had made. It was about Thomas Lowe, a Quaker preacher. Um, now, Thomas Lowe said, he said, there is a faith that overcomes the world and there is a faith that is overcome by the world. And once again, it goes to that whole point of worldly things. If you're a Christian, but your faith is not in God and it's in the world, and you may say, oh, I have faith in God, but you're invested in the world. Your faith is sort of the split between God and these different things. Okay, my faith is split between politics and, and God. My faith is split between everything going on in the world and God. And your faith is weak because it, your faith is not purely in God. That is not a pure faith. That is my... Um, that was my intention of posting this quote here because a lot of people they don't they talk about faith however we would have we would ask a question what type of faith is the faith that we should have in God and i would say it should be a faith that endures that overcomes the world so a faith in the love of God that is more important than anything else in this world so jesus you know i, I quoted in context Matthew 17 20 and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you okay um so that was very interesting, and I posted this this book about um, this particular Quaker book. You can find it on archive.com. Christians who especially want to find old sermons, old books, um, different things, especially from a lot of older Christians um, from the 1800s, the 1700s. Um, some people like the Puritans. I don't particularly like reading Puritan books because I think the, the Puritans were quite severe. Um, but, I mean, people people have different opinions. Some people like, um, you know, that sort of Puritan history. I know some about it. I, don't, I do not know very much about it. I know more about Quakers. And I know some different things about the sort of precursor to the Protestant uh, movement in France. All of this church history is very, very... Some Christians don't take it very very seriously. But we learn about Christian martyrs and Christian, you know, Christians preserving their faith even under some very bad circumstances where the government was against them. Um, and we learn about Christian pacifism. We, will, we learn about Christians who stood on their principles. I mean, there were people who came before us and their stories are very important. So... You know, I plan to continue to post on this forum. I recommend it to other people. Um, I think Brother Neftali is, you know, he is going to do some things with it. And I think it will get better. But for now, you know, um, basically it's just me and Armor Bearer, to be honest. I mean, there are not many people on it. 
Um, every now and then, once in a blue moon, I suppose, a person will come on it. But, you know, anyhow, I mean, I would say to any Christian, um, we, we as Christians need more of a social media presence, in my opinion. Other people have it. You know, things like forums can be useful. If you have a microphone, you can put some things on YouTube. You can put some things on BitChute or, or um, any of these places. Of course, I do not often frequent BitChute very often that, because that is sort of a haven for Nazis at this point. But nonetheless, um, and those of us, those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, hang around, go to BitChute and just look at the forums. Look at the comment section and see sort of the things that are posted in, in BitChute. But anyhow, I mean, BitChute is a resource like any other resource. But nonetheless, if you have a microphone, if you have a voice, do not be afraid to talk. And if you're in forums, you know, do not be afraid to type some things, to speak your mind, to sort of get involved. I have been around for a lot of different forums. And I've used a variety of different forms. So I know, you know, um, even if it's just one person keeping the forum going, you know, there has to be some activity. Hopefully more people will come. But, you know, this is one of the reasons why every now and then I would just post something because I, I look at the forum and I said, you know, there are not many people posting. And every now and then I, I put a post out whether people appreciate it or not. Um, because someone, I mean, I, one of the saddest things to see is when forums sort of become ghost towns where there's hardly any people there. Um, and so I will continue to post as we're all waiting for the new features to come. But anyhow, you know, this is made, this video is made out of goodwill. Um, and I would simply like to say to all of you, May the Lord bless you and farewell.